hi friends welcome to another video in this video we are going to discuss about the different classification of bricks and also properties so let's get started before going ahead please make sure to subscribe our channel civil engineering world for the future videos and lectures okay friends let's get started so we are going to see the different classification based on field practice that how bricks are classified so we have four classes first class bricks second class bricks third class bricks and fourth class bricks all these bricks are classified based on field practice so, so let's discuss about first class bricks so these bricks are table molded and they are burned in kilns as you can see in picture these bricks are molded in uh, table so these are thoroughly burned and are of deep color and the color should be cherry or copper color so also the surface should be smooth and rectangular with parallel sharp and straight edges and also square corners this is really important for good bricks so also it should be free from flaws cracks and stones also good quality bricks should have uniform texture as shown in the figure so there should not be impression left on bricks when they are scratched uh, by any finger or any nail so this is the property of good quality brick also the fractured surface of brick should not show lumps of lime otherwise it can absorb more water okay so also this metallic or ringing sound of the bricks should come when the two bricks are struck against each other which shows that their soundness and this is also called their soundness test also the water absorption should not be greater than of 12.5 percent of its dry weight when immersed in water for 24 hours as shown in figure okay also the crushing strength of the good quality brick should not be less than 10 newton per millimeter square so this is the minimum strength so let's discuss about its uses the first class bricks are recommended for pointing exposed face work in masonry structures floorings and reinforced brick works so these are good quality bricks now let's discuss about second class bricks these bricks have some requirements of first class bricks except one listed below these bricks are ground molded and they are burnt in kilns as you can see in the picture these bricks are uh, burnt in kilns also they have small cracks and distortions that are permitted which means that their water absorption is also high which is about 16 to 20 percent of its dry weight which is allowed normally their crushing strength is normally less which is 7 newton per millimeter square which is less as compared to first class bricks okay so let's talk about its uses second class bricks are recommended for all important or unimportant hidden masonry structures such as a reinforced brick and reinforced cement concrete structures normally it is used in houses and the buildings where good quality is required now let's talk about third quality bricks these bricks are ground molded and they are burned in clamps also these bricks are soft and reddish yellow color it means that they are having the poor quality um, and they are used for uh, not even unimportant structures they produce dull sounds when struck with each other which means that they are not sound or dense enough so water absorption is quite higher which is 25 percent of the dry weight which is allowed in this such cases they have irregular surfaces and also distorted edges as shown in this figure they have irregular structures now let's talk about its uses so the use of third class bricks is used for unimportant and temporary structures at the places where rainfall is not heavy and for unimportant structures now let's talk about fourth classes of brick now this brick is quite overburned and badly distorted in shape size and it is quite brittle in nature it has very bad quality 
and it is often used for uh, ballast so the ballast of such brick is used for the foundation floors in lime concrete road metals because of the fact that these burnt bricks have compact structures and sometimes it can be found more stronger than first class bricks because they are more burnt or over burnt as you can see in the picture this is the ballast which is over burnt so this can be used in other kind of construction so the burnt clays uh, have the compressive strength more than 40 newton per millimeter square and they are also called heavy duty bricks because they are over burnt and they can be used for the heavy duty structures just like bridges foundations for industrial buildings multi-story buildings and of course their water absorption is very less which is limited to only five percent so this is a very high tough and high strength brick now let's talk about the different properties of good bricks first is size and shape so the bricks should have the uniform size and plain rectangular surface with plain sizes and sharp straight edges so as you can see in this picture these bricks have uniform size and rectangular surface second is the color so in color bricks have uniform deep red or cherry color as indicative this uniformity shows of chemical composition and also throughout burning of this brick as shown in this figure now let's talk about texture and compactness so the surfaces of the good quality brick should not be should uh, not be too smooth because it can cause the slipping of mortar so the brick should have pre-compact and uniform texture a fractured surface should show should not show fissures holes grits or lumps of fire now the fourth is hardness bricks should be so hard that when scratched by finger or nail it should not made an impression it shows that it is good quality brick now the fifth one is of course soundness which means that when the two bricks are struck together it should produce a metallic sound it means that they are sound enough and dense enough okay so let's talk about water absorption so water absorption of good quality brick should not be greater than 20 percent of its dry weight when immersed in water for 24 hours this is very important for good quality brick and also number seven is the crushing strength which means that the minimum crushing strength of good quality brick should be greater than 10 newton per millimeter square Eighth one is brick earth should be free from stones, grids, organic matter, and all the impurities as shown in this figure. So guys, this was a very short video on classifications of bricks and their properties. I hope that you have learned from this video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel Civil Engineering World for the future videos and lectures. Thank you.